In this video, I'm going to show you how you can identify and profit from base patterns. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Lamott. I'm the founder of ChartYourTrade.com and our goal is to inspire millions of hardworking people just like you to take advantage of the stock market. And the way that we're going to do that in this video series is by showing you my personal edge or one of my personal edges in the stock market. One of my personal edges is being able to identify chart patterns on charts. So what do I mean? You, well, after a stock runs up for a period of time, it'll typically go and chop around and then move back higher or roll over. Identifying those periods of consolidation is one of the things that allows me to profit in the market because I'm able to identify those patterns, those patterns that have historically come up time and time again and have... Uh, preceded some of the most explosive moves that we've seen in market history. Stocks that have gone up several hundred to several thousand percent or more after making these kinds of consolidations. And then being able to identify them, but also being able to read the chart week to week to week or day to day to day, and then seeing what kind of a story is the chart telling us is the stock under accumulation or not? Is it under distribution or not? Who Who's in control? The buyers or the sellers? The bulls or the bears? That's what we're trying to figure out, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video series. And so the first chart pattern that I want to go through with you is what's known as a cup with handle. And the reason why it's called the cup with handle is just because it looks kind of like a cup with handle. Let's take a look at one and you'll see what I mean. Now, when I'm analyzing chart patterns, I always like to start with the weekly chart first and then move to the daily chart. One of the things that I like about charting service that I use, TradingView, is that you get to look at both the daily and the weekly at the same time. But let's look at the weekly chart first. So looking at this weekly chart of Adobe, you're able to see that there is this pattern here, that uh, this cup shape pattern. It, it looks kind of like a U. And where you end up seeing the handle, it, the hand, when you're looking for a handle, it's, it's a, sometimes it's a little clearer on a daily chart. So let's bring up the daily chart. So over here on the daily chart, you're able to see that same U pattern. And then before it completes the full U, you get this little bit of a sideways move and you see a dry up in volume. That's basically the perfect scenario for a cup with handle. Uh, especially for the handle part, you want to see that sideways move. It should be in the upper half of the range of the entire base pattern. And then uh, it tends to, to work from there if it's going to work. But uh, let's, let's go back to the weekly chart first and just get a more of a feel for the pattern itself. So here's the weekly chart again. And we see that Adobe was running up for a significant period of time, starting uh, really for, from back here. So from February 2016, that's when it bottomed. And then uh, it ran up and then started this sideways move uh, back in October of 2016. So from February through October, uh, you have a nice eight month move and then it starts to consolidate. Great. When we see these chart patterns, well, they typically consolidate anywhere from about 10% on the super, super shallow end, all the way down to 35% uh, for, for a cup shaped base. Now, take that, that's just a range. So if something is slightly out of the range, so slightly shallower than 10% or 15% or slightly greater than 35%, that's going to be okay. What really matters, uh, at least from my experience, is more 
of looking how that consolidation fits into the broader move of that particular stock. So it's, it's relative to itself. So this move here, if we measure it, that's a consolidation of about 12%. And this move previously over here was a move of 27%. Then looking at some of these other consolidations, 22%. So it's, you can see how Adobe is getting tighter over the longer term, right? So, so it's in this uptrend, consolidates, shakes out some of the weaker hands, continues its move higher, and then it's getting progressively tighter. And that's something else that you want to look for when you're looking at these base patterns. Like, is the character of the base getting tighter and shallower, or is it starting to get wider and looser and kind of herky-jerky like this was back here? This is an ideal pattern, right? So for, for a number of reasons. Number one, it's... Uh, it's pretty close to its 52-week high. We like to see that on most stocks that we're looking at. Sometimes we will buy a stock that has a deep, deep correction and then uh, starts to come out of that deep correction. We'll, we'll look at examples of those too in another video. But for this, you know, Adobe was in a solid uptrend. It started to move sideways and then it formed this cup pattern. So let's look at it week to week to week. So here, uh, and what we're looking for is accumulation versus distribution weeks. So what does that mean? What it means is, is the week ending higher or lower and is volume higher or lower than the prior week? So this week here, it was a distribution week because volume was greater than the week before it. And then the same thing with this week here, right? Then this week here, so we have three weeks of consolidation to start the base. In base patterns, that's not unusual, especially for a cup pattern because you're going to get that sell off first before you finally start to get buyers come in towards the bottom and then buyers meet sellers at the bottom and that's where the stock starts to stabilize and then it starts to form the rest of that u-shaped pattern on the right side of the base and that's what we eventually end up seeing in this pattern here right so this week it's an up week but it's not accumulation because it's not greater than the week before it same thing here then we get a test of that 40-week line, and it counts as a distribution week. When we're looking at accumulation and distribution too, we want to also look at what's happening around potential support levels, and we also want to take a look at what's happening around key moving averages. On a weekly chart, that's going to be the 10-week moving average and the 40 week moving average. And that those are just historically where institutions will come in and support positions if they're going to support the position. That's what happened here, right? So it's a distribution week, but it touched that 40 week line and it closed above the line. So that's uh, that was a, your first hint right there that there's buyers right around that 40 week line. And another hint would have been to look to the left of the chart and to see that happen uh, initially in June of 2016. At this point, it was November of 2016 when it was forming the bottom of that base. Then you start to rally, then it hits its head right here as it's trying to climb back above the 50-day moving average. So it's still consolidating. Um, but let's see well, where it, it, where did it close in its range? Oh, it's not gonna measure it. But so, so you could see right here on this week that Adobe did close off of its high for the week 
but what's interesting is that it didn't close near the low of the week. It started to rally uh, midweek, and it didn't quite close in the upper half of the range, but it's kind of like in the middle to like the maybe out the third of its range, and that's also a subtle sign that the stock is being accumulated. All right, so then we move on. It starts to fill out the rest of the right side of the base. Volume is below average, and then you finally start to break out, right? Then you're starting to form this over here. And if we look at this and draw a... If we look at this and we start to draw the resistance level right around there, right, because it rallied, it hit its head over there, and then it, it consolidated some more, and now it's finally starting to break out. That's, that ended up being the, the handle of the cup with handle. So if we go back to the daily chart for a moment, that's where we're going to see the actual advanced entry point. We see the bigger pattern on the weekly chart. We identify the entry point and the advanced entry point on the daily chart because it, we're zeroing in on the, the, the real support level, the, the real place where we're going to look to enter. So flip flip back over to the daily chart, and you can see right over here that there's that U-shaped pattern. Over here is where it started to consolidate sideways, and now you're looking at some of these other moving averages too, and let's get some of these notes in there, right? So the, this is one that we actually bought for uh, our model portfolio in the Advanced Stock Report Service, and we bought on this day we bought at uh $111.09 as it broke out of uh that handle and it broke above support and it was breaking above that five day exponential moving average and it was getting support at the 21 day uh exponential moving average down here, just a lot of things working in its favor. So as you're analyzing these patterns, you're looking at the story that the chart is telling you, and you're trying to identify all the different elements of each individual day, the individual weeks, and the broader pattern, how it fits into the market, the different support levels, where you're going to get out, uh, so many different ways to view this, but uh, but it's all painting a picture, and the picture is that the stock is under accumulation. And you could see it uh, even more clearly, like on the individual days, what's happening. So when Adobe tested that 200-day moving average, you could see that it bounced off of it on above average volume. Over here, where it hit its head on that 50-day uh, moving average, and it rallied, it did that on very heavy volume as well. Then when it was in this handle area, you see that dry up in volume, so that's a sign that there's a dry up in uh, both the buyers and the sellers are kind of getting complacent there. And then when it finally does break out, you start to see that uptick in volume again. And you see it on the breakout, it's above average. And then in the subsequent days as well, you're getting above average volume. So that's showing you that there's some institutions that are in there that are buying the stock. When you get big volume like that, that's a sign of institutional demand. And we want to see institutional demand because institutions are the ones that are going to move the market higher or lower. So we just went through a lot of information. Just to recap, the first thing that we spoke about was to start with the weekly chart and then move to the daily chart that's going to help you see the overall bigger pattern. Second thing, look for stocks that are already in an uptrend. 
We want the stocks to already be in an uptrend and then begin to base and then hopefully continue that uptrend higher. Number three, when we're analyzing the chart, ideally the relative strength line is going to be at or near new highs. This is going to show us that that stock is outperforming the market and even while it's basing, it's still outperforming the market. Number five, we're going to want to look at each individual bar on the weekly chart and also on the daily chart. They're each telling us their own story and that's where we're going to see if that stock is under accumulation or under distribution. Number six, in order to find the advanced entry and advanced exit points, we're going to want to move to the daily chart. That's where those that, that's where you're going to find the exact pivot point. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below and I will personally help you. Also, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. That's really going to help us out a lot. And also make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that way you get every single update. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.